Okay, welcome everybody. This is the introduction of the course on Semantic Web. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, now I just give you a very, very short introduction about the schedule, about the teachers, and then we will go on immediately with, uh, with the real topic. So uh, this course has to do with the internet and the fact that it's growth and uh, it's very always a uh, new possibility for, uh, for doing some new application and for improving the use of the internet. And uh, Semantic Web, the name, had to do, it's a, let's say a very traditional name, traditional in sense that it's been called in this way because the interest was in semantics, so in understanding what is the meaning of the resources that are in the internet, not only for humans, you are very good in uh, reading languages, but also for machines, so the stress of the initial uh, word was on semantics, so understand so that the, the application could understand of what the intern was talking about. Now in reality is there is there's sort of a shift and the uh, semantic web is called the web of linked data. So to stress the importance to expose data for applications so that everybody can use the data that you develop and only and uh, also not only human readers but also applications. So we will stress a lot about this idea of linked data and usable data by the application. So um, the, the course, uh, the objective of the course is to understand what is this semantic web or this web of linked data, which is the, 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 the current or next generation of the web. So we will see uh, what is the ground, what is the vision, what, why it has been developed, uh, what are the, the main technological components. We have an overview of all of them, but we will have, uh, give more stress on some of them. We will see some examples of, of existing application and uh, we will talk about the future and the challenge. Here you, uh, it's more uh, on the topics. Uh, we will um, go to this. Uh, uh, this is what is written on the on the website, so I don't have to to stress it uh, much more. We will see what are the technologies and what are uh, the concept behind the semantic web, and this is what we will develop in particular. So we will see. Uh, the description of the resources, we will see how we can do queries, how we can do reasoning on the data that are available for, uh, for the application. So uh, we will uh, have uh, some theory, but we will also have some exercise. Mm? I'll talk to you about this a little bit uh, later. So all the course material is available on the website and this is the link. Uh, we have slides, documents, references. So we will saw as uh, the video recording of all the lectures. And the teacher, uh, uh, Fulvio Corno, who's here for the presentation, Laura Farinetti, that's me, and Luigi De Russis. And we are all from the computer um, science department and control. So we are all from Darwin. And of course, you can uh, contact us uh, via email. Uh, when, uh, when you need. So all classes will be here and the schedule, uh, we, st we started with the idea of doing all uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, then we had some sort of shift, so uh, please notice that uh, next uh, Monday the course will be in the afternoon and not in the morning, so this is the, the hour and uh, uh, um, uh, updated hour. So, uh, if you could attend with uh, your laptop, this is much better. And well, we require you to do that because we will give you a few exercises, practical exercises, and these are the dates in which we will uh, to to help you. In which we will give you these exercises: 16, 21st, and 23rd, because the exercises will be practically the basis for your exam. So we will not ask you to have uh, an extra project, uh, but uh, we will ask you during the course to make a very short uh, exercise. It will be about, each of them will take about one hour. 
in which you will uh, do something, something practical of what has been explained uh, uh, the, lec the lecture before. So you will not. So you have some time to review the material to try on uh, other kind of uh, examples that we will give you, and then come here and then have this exercise. So um, for the exam, we ask you to. Uh, make the exercise directly here in this room with your laptop and then you have to send us so you, you will put it where we will tell you to put it on, on cloud or whatever we will we'll give you the link uh, uh, to create a zip file and uh, up upload it somewhere and then we will evaluate it uh, and uh, we ask you for the for passing the exams to do at least two exercises so this is the minimum. There are three, so so we will evaluate all what all what you will give us. But uh, at least two is important. Uh, the last lecture will be there will be another exercise, but it will be not evaluated. So it's just for you, okay? So um, should I say something else? Do you want to add something about organization of the course or something else, Fulvio? No. So I. Okay. I stop the registration.